but the rule that I like to follow is one bold and one minimal or two minimal rings per hand. Hey everybody, Parker York Smith here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we focus on building your confidence through men's fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. So if you like the sound of that, join the gang. First and foremost, let me just say that I love that you're watching this because that means that you are curious about jewelry. I am such a big fan and I have been for years and I'm really excited that it's starting to become a little bit more popular because jewelry is just such an easy way to elevate any type of outfit. Whether you're someone who wants to go super bold or you just kind of want to add a little bit of something and keep it simple, there's totally something for you, but we'll get into all of that later. Today's video is brought to you by Lupin. They are a minimal jewelry brand who believe that less is more. Love that. Everything they make is handcrafted in Seoul, Korea with 925 sterling silver. That's the good stuff. Everything I'm wearing in today's video is from Lupin and I am super excited to show you guys how you can be boosting your confidence as well as your style by using jewelry. Just so you know, there is a link down in the description and a discount code. So if you wanna shop anything for yourself, got yourself a deal. Based on a ton of questions that I get online, simply understanding where to start is kind of the biggest problem a lot of people are facing. Honestly, I look at jewelry in the same way that I look at any other piece of fashion. It's all about what you connect with. The three pieces that I think are essential for every guy to start incorporating into their looks are necklaces, rings, and bracelets. You do not have to start out by wearing them all at the same time, but familiarizing yourself with these and trying different things within those categories, that is definitely the best place to start. Also, for when you're getting started, you don't wanna go overly bold because it's just gonna to be too much of a statement when you're starting out. Keep it simple, keep it easy, and then if you wanna start getting more bold with your combinations or your individual pieces down the road, you can. Necklaces are where I got my start in jewelry. They're just so versatile and it's such an easy piece because you can decide how visible you want it to be. You can wear it on the outside of your shirt like this, or you can easily just tuck it and it's only gonna show a little bit around your neckline. When you're building your comfort, tucking it in might be better because it kind of allows you to show it just a little bit as well as just kind of give you the feeling of having it on because sometimes just simply knowing it's there, feeling it on my neck, is an automatic confidence booster. In terms of style, I think keeping it minimal is always smart because it grabs attention, you see that it's there, but it's not overly bold or in your face. Lengthwise, find something that hits you right sort of in the middle of your chest. I would say around 18 to 20 inches is usually good because you don't want it overly long because it's gonna get caught on stuff and you might not want to start out with like a choker style because it's just gonna be a little bit more uncomfortable. A simple necklace like this added into an otherwise super casual outfit is automatically gonna make you look more stylish and more confident. It's just such an intentional thing that you obviously added to your look that can become part of your everyday, casual, easy outfits. For dressier looks, I'm a huge fan of the 925 silver that they use because I think it just pops right off of black. So just something simple like a black t-shirt, black jeans and boots is really nice because you see the necklace and then if you wanted to add a jacket, you could. And overall, you're gonna look really well put together without being too, just try hard, you know? Bracelets are another easy way to improve style and just increase the intention of your outfits. Same as before, minimal is better because less is more. Keep that in mind, that's a really good thing to always remember. This silver bracelet from Lupin is a great example of how just a really clean, minimal design can add a lot of extra style into your outfit. Adding it into the exact same casual outfit from before is a great way to use it. Once you start to feel a little bit more comfortable, combine it with the necklace, wear them both at the same time. It's a really nice move. If that still feels like just a little bit too much for you, then wearing a bracelet on its own is perfectly fine. Also, a bracelet is really nice with dressier outfits because it's gonna class things up just a little bit. As I said, it's just gonna show that you put a little bit more effort and thought into what you're wearing. Also guys, don't feel like you always have to wear a watch. Adding in a bracelet instead of a watch is a really simple move, but it can also be really impactful. In terms of fit of bracelets, keep it so that it's loose enough that you can kind of move it around. You don't want it to be so big that it's falling halfway down your hand, and you don't want it to be so tight that it can't even move at all and it's cutting off your circulation. Rings are a piece that I get a lot of questions about. You can see I'm wearing two right now that I absolutely love. And I understand that they can be a little bit intimidating, but just understanding how to sort of dip your toe into it, you'll be so glad you did. 
The best place to start is a signet style ring like this one from Lupin. It's bold, it makes a statement, but it is also extremely classic. This is a ring that men have been wearing for decades. I would start by getting one for your right ring finger. This is probably most classic. Wear that around for a while until you build up your comfort, and then you can start to switch it over to your middle finger or your pointer finger. If a signet style feels a little bit too bold, that's totally fine. Maybe try a band style instead, something like this. It's less noticeable, but it also still gives you that minimal style boost to all of your outfits. And as we've been saying, you're still gonna have that feeling. Jewelry is about looking good, but it also is about how it makes you feel. Lupin also has this style, which is almost kind of a combination, signet and band ring. You can see it kind of bulges up on the one side. I love this one just because I feel like it's a little bit different than what you're gonna see other people wearing. As your confidence continues to grow as you're wearing rings, you can start to combine multiple on one hand. But the rule that I like to follow is one bold and one minimal or two minimal rings per hand, never two bold. So for example, the signet ring is bold, the band ring is a little bit more minimal, and combining the two of them, it just works. You can wear them on whatever fingers they fit on, whichever combination you think feels best for you. I usually like to keep a gap of one finger in between the two rings, but sometimes I'll mix it up. It just depends on my mood. Wearing each of these individually is fantastic, especially as you're building your comfort, as we've been talking about. But once you're ready, once you've kind of had some experience with each one, I would absolutely recommend wearing all three categories at the same time. Whether you're wearing something as simple as a t-shirt and jeans or you're dressed up in a suit, they can all work really well with literally any type of outfit. Take advantage of that confidence boost you're gonna get from feeling intentional about how you styled yourself. And there you go, now you know the three types of jewelry that every guy should be wearing. The most important thing to remember in all of these categories, just get something that you're gonna wear. Don't buy some crazy piece that is aspirational for you when you have no experience. Spend money on something that is actually gonna be put onto your body and you're gonna be able to reap the benefits of feeling how confident it can make you feel. The beauty of good quality jewelry like this stuff from Lupin is that it's gonna last you a long time and you're gonna be able to start building memories with it. You're gonna be able to remember, oh yeah, I did that one really cool thing when I was wearing my necklace or my ring. It's very fun to start cataloging different things because you're just wearing this stuff on such a regular basis. Don't forget there's a link down in the description and you can use promo code ParkerYorkSmith15 to get yourself a discount on Lupin's website. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. I am such a fan of everything they make. If you have any specific questions, I'm happy to answer them. You can leave them down in the comments. You can DM me on Instagram. Be sure you go follow me there as well as on TikTok for lots of other style tips and outfit ideas. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.